All right, good afternoon, people. Welcome to the weekly crypto training call with Lisa. Lisa is going to train us on a few interesting things today. Uh, a lot of it will be regarding Canelian and how we move crypto to and fro there. Uh, I also ask her to do a little bit of work on uh, Trust Wallet. There was a question this morning or this afternoon in the update call from uh, Lupe about uh, swapping coins. Uh, Trust Wallet is not really built for swapping coins. I, I myself had an issue with Bitcoin. I tried to do the maximum withdrawal and the amount kept on climbing with the money that came into the wallet. It still didn't want to go through. And then when I we halved the amount, it suddenly went through. So um, th those little technical things of how much can you actually withdraw? Uh, what happened, what I uh, suspect on, on the Bitcoin transaction is that the fees were just a little bit over on the decimals. So always make it a little bit less. Uh, if you uh, to click on the max button, uh, go to the back and backspace one, and then it should go through. I tested the rest of the money now that uh, that is still there, and it, it went out after one backspace. Right, Elisa, have fun. I'm going to, it is recorded. Uh, I'm going to mute myself and then uh, you have fun. Uh, 45 minutes so that we give enough time for the people afterwards to, to ask a few questions. If Lisa goes from one subject to the next and you've got a question, just put your hand up so we can see and then we can deal with that question during during the presentation. Have fun. Hi everyone, yeah, so I'm going to just share my screen with you and then I'm going to try start to train you in a little bit of crypto. Yeah, crypto should be fun and can you see my screen? Okay. Somebody just comment if you can see my screen now. Yes, you can. Okay, thank you. All right, so we started a little group called Crypto is Fun, and that is specifically just to help people to learn, to ask questions if something is not right. So, um, so Johan mostly is handling that group. So there's a group if you want to know uh, or want to be added, you can always ask us. And it's a very easy way to, there's different topics that gets pinned and eventually we all learn together. I'm not a pro, but what I do is I love crypto. I love the way that you can do transactions. You can send um, funds to your friends and family, even for birthdays. And that is the reason why crypto is easy. It's an easy way of doing transactions, an easy way of um, going into different projects and to start earning additional income. Or, or grow your capital in a very short period of time. So yeah, so let's start today. Um, one of the questions I was asked recently is how do you take money uh, or crypto and convert it into fiat money and then send it to your bank account? So this morning me and Stefan have spoken about it. So maybe I can just show and share with you how easy it is. Okay. Yeah, if it wants to go on. <laughs> so, oh. Screen. Your screen is not showing it. Yeah, there it's coming now. Yeah. Okay, coming back. Okay. So when I go to my Binance wallet, it is already on my phone. Um, you download Binance from your app store on your phone, or you can um, use the web browser for your computer. Binance works in both very well. So if I go to my wallet, um, I will see there is some funds in, hopefully. <laughs> yeah, so there's some funds that arrived to my wallet this morning. And um, some of it is in Bitcoin, or mostly in Bitcoin. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how, I, how easy it is to convert it from any currency like Bitcoin, USDT, or TRX or, uh, you know, even other coins. So all I'll do is I'll press on my home button at the bottom of my screen. And I've set mine up that it's easy for me to, to identify it, like these deposits or convert. But let me show you where I find convert. Otherwise, I always go into more. 
and then I just scroll down and it's under trade. So I'll just press on convert. And now it wants to convert from Bitcoin to ETH. Okay, so I don't want to use ETH. Today I want to do ZAR, South African Rand. ZAR. Okay. Okay, so let me quickly just check. Um, Stephen requested me to. Um, okay, so that is a transaction that I've received today. So 0.001742. Or 271 bitcoins that I've received. So, what I will do now is I will. You, you, you received less than that. Remember, we did a $24 one. I oh, did just receive less. Okay. Oh, it's, oh, yeah. I'm just going to convert anyway. Okay. So, let's work on. Oh, I'm going to do that anyway. So, it's not a problem. Um, yeah. 174271. Okay. Well, let me rather go back and let me see where I did receive it physically. Okay, sorry. Let's quickly go back. So I'll see in my screen. Let me just check if I've sent you that photo of the, of the okay. smaller amount. Twenty-four. I think this is the one. I didn't send you. I'll have to read you the number. Okay. Hold on, I'm just going to go to Trust Wallet quickly so that you enter the right number there. Okay. Zero oh, point zero 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 nine three zeros and a nine. Okay, I think I did see that one. So I did see that one. So here on my record. So let me just quickly go back slowly to show you again. So I always re refer it to the face, it's the little face at the top, at the bottom, I think it's home, and the, the top is a clock. So that is where all my transactions that come through through Binance Pay or uh, through normal transactions is in. So here I can see um, it is 0 0.0009. So Stefan, that is 100% correct. Okay, so let me quickly go back. So now when I get to my home screen, where my face is at the top, home is at the bottom, while it's at the right-hand side, I press on more. I will go and search for convert there. Okay, as I said, okay, then I'll press in 0 0.009. And then I'll just look for ZAR, ZAR, as that. And then all I do is preview conversion. This is a swift action. You can't wait too long because the price of Bitcoin changed the whole time. So I'll press on preview conversion. And then I'll just convert. So there it is, done. So it's now 461 ZAR. So now all I'll do is I'll go back. And then at the top is a little arrow, press back. And then I will go back to my wallets, again back. So I'll go back to my wallets and I'll go and check. So always press that hide button. Do you see that hide button? Because then it just shows you the coins that's in your wallet. So there is the amount so it's $25 still about 462 rand so now what I want to do is I want to withdraw so I can press on that ZAR at the bottom it says withdraw and then it asks me how much um, the balance uh, my, my bank account is already linked here and this is a five-step process that I can explain next time again, but it's been linked here. So all I press is I continue. The only thing with taking currency out of Binance, you cannot put um, the, the cents. So you can just put in 462, for example. 
you cannot put that 0.39 cents. Okay, so I'll press continue. It will ask me to go there. I say yes. And then all I do is I'll get my codes, my verification codes. For that, I normally my email needs to be open. That one, okay. So that is where the other, other proof of payment came through. And the deposit one just came through there. I just want to refresh it. It's taking a little bit long. So here, and I have a couple of seconds to do. Unfortunately, it took a little bit too long, so I need to do it again. Sometimes if your internet is slow, then... How many seconds do we have, Lisa? Um, it's normally 60 seconds to get both your email address as well as your phone number. Okay. But I could see that that model was a little bit slow, so I'm just doing it again um, because the new one hasn't come through yet. So there okay, it comes not. through. Yeah, so all I do is I'll copy that address, that uh, verification code. I'll go to there and I'll paste it. And then I press the phone number. The reason why I do this is the phone number is much faster than the email. You can do it both but um, together, but I just found out that this technique works best for me. No, this is taking slap. <laughs> okay, here it comes. Okay, so it seems like the of, after I've done it, it seems like there's a new code that came through. Um, and I'll need to go to my SMSs. Sometimes it pops up the year as well. Um, here it comes through, yeah. That's what I'm going to show. I was back. <laughs> Took too long today. But let me try again. It's unfortunately sometimes our networks are a little bit slow and then it happens. But it's a little bit of patience and then normally it goes through. Otherwise, we'll move on to the next topic and I'll come back a little bit later. It's normally when these power cuts. Oh, no, no. Okay, so the verification is a little bit too slow today. So I can maybe do it after our power cuts are off. I'm going to try the loss of time. And otherwise, we move on. Well, Saturday at this time, I had the same problem. Okay, I'm going to do it together, email address and then phone number. Because we only got 60 seconds to do both. And the email is taking too long today. Okay, let me take this one. Okay. So that's a phone number one. Just gonna type it in. Okay. 
know the emo one. See, the emo one, I still, oh, there you go, no. The way that you can get past this is to do it on your computer and then use a fingerprint. Okay, there it's done. Okay, so it's done. And now I'll just go back to the wallet. It says unavailable. So now it's that it's been frozen. So I cannot, if I want to do anything with that Zeta hour now, um, it says unavailable there. Then you know it's normally it is still frozen. So once it's out, it will be out of this wallet. And that is the way that I know that the transaction is through as well. And it will appear here at the top once it's done it will appear in my records so it's not in here yet and i'll receive an email as well okay so let's move on so now what i'm going to do is i want to show you how to set up a new c12 account so i've asked one of my downloads for the invitation link and i'm going to show you how easy it is to set up a new trust wallet as well as the C12 account. So let me switch there. Okay. So I'm going to use this invitation link to start off. Okay. So C12 is just a fun program that we are using to accumulate some extra BTCs as well as to, uh, trons and USDTs. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start from scratch and show you how easy it is to set up an account. So I'll press an account. And then I'll press on sign in, sign up. Okay. So I'll create a new, this is just example. So I don't think you can steal anything here. It's just example. I'm just going to use it for, so what I'll press, press in, so I'll press in mama. Okay. And an email address. I don't know which one. Let's press this one. Oh, I'm just going to use this one and then I'll press in South Africa password. So I'll choose a password like anything. Um, let's put in uh, friends. And then I'll repeat friends. And then I need to choose a security pin. It's very, very important that you do not lose this, please. It is a mission to get a new security pin. And I'll put in Mama, that's my account name. And I've put in friends. Okay, that is my login details. Okay, now I'll choose one, I'll just say, I'm just gonna put in double one, double one, double one. Okay, and then, my wallet addresses is very important. I need a Bitcoin address, I need a Tron address and a TRC20 address. That is for when you restart receive some withdrawals or income and you want to take it to your wallet. Let me put in here, sorry, just another one. Okay. So what we're going to do now is we're going to create a new trust wallet. That's the fastest way to open an account without doing any KYC. So what I'll do now is I will go to my Google Play Store and I'll literally put in Trust Wallet. I'll type it in. And then because I've got it on my phone already, I'm not gonna download it, but if you are new, you just simply press download and then after that, you will come to the same menu where I'm going now. So I'll just press, press and open. <clears throat> Okay, let's see. These are fun. So now, so you'll come to a screen where it says, you know, you've got a trust wallet. So I'm going to do the same now. So I'm just going to create a new one. Okay, so it will ask me, this is private secure. And you want to create a new wallet? I can say, yes, I want to create a new wallet. Then it will ask me if I want to back it on my Google Drive. 
or do I want to back it up manually? Now, what I'm going to choose here in this example is I'm going to back it up manually. You will ask me again all the questions that you can read for yourself, and I'll press continue. And then it will give me secret pins. You will give me 12 category, undo, engage, recall. This is very private. It's like the pin of your bank account. You don't give it to anybody else. And I'm doing this now. Just for example, afterwards I will delete it. So census, I'll put in season, put in fire, and then sit in, in plastic. Okay. So the next step will be that you must need to put them in the correct order. Please don't make spelling mistakes with this because this is your keys to your crypto wallet. So category undo. Um, engage, <laughs> recall, refuse, pull, wrap, census, season, fire, certain, and then plastic. Okay, so I've, I'm done. Okay, so now I've got my own new wallet. It's called Main Wallet One. If I want to change the name, I'll just press to Settings. I'm oh, sorry. And then I'll go there. I'll press on the little dots. I'll change it to Mama. <laughs> so this is Mama's wallet. Okay. So now, if I want to go choose the coins for Mama, all I'll do is I'll add some tokens. So I want BTC, I don't want ETH, I don't want BNB, and I don't want BNB. So the ones that I want is, and there's another question that I get often, that are struggling to get the, the right coins on here, but it's very easy. So for USDT, for example, um, I press in Tether. Um, tether. And then many of them will come up. And I'll, the one I'm using is USDT TRC20. So it's the US dollar um, equivalent in a coin. And it is on a TRC20 network. It's on a Tether network. Okay, there it is. And that is added. And then the next one is that I want to add is Tron. It is TRX or Tron. It's a red one, that one with the diamond in. Okay, so now I'm set up. So what I'll do is I want all my receiving addresses to be able to put it in my C12 account for Mama. So I'll put it on the receive. I'll go first of all to BTC Bitcoin. So what I do now is I copy that address and then I will send it to myself via WhatsApp. And I'll show you now why. Okay, let's press there. Then we just took paste. And I'll look BC 5N. I just want to double check myself. BC. So it's BC 5N, and I'm happy with that. Because okay, so I will go out. And then what I'll do in my WhatsApp, I'll just press BTC. That's the first one that I need. I'll send that. And then the next one is Tron. Okay, so I'll press on Tron. And I'll go to my, I want to receive, just want to show you slower. So I want to receive Tron, so I press on copy. And I will paste it in here. I'll put it in Tron or TRX or Tron. So I'll double check myself, TU, A5. Okay. Do you I thought that's correct? And the next one that I want is my tether USDT to receive. You see there? At the top it says receive. So I'll just copy that one, tether USDT. They will see tether TRC20. So that is the one that is right. 
if you choose the wrong coin, you will lose money. It is like that. If you send it to a wrong coin wallet, it can be lost. So be careful when you when you set up your wallets. Okay, so copy that. And then what I'll do is I'll go here and I'll send it to myself. Paste and send. And I'll say this is my USDT TRC20. 20. 20. Okay, so there I've got it. So that is the addresses that I need now. So I can close my wallet. I don't need that any longer. I just swipe it up. So I'll go now again to the place we were. Okay, so my payout wallet. So that's the deposit addresses I've got. I'll literally just go to my WhatsApp and I'll copy that. And then I will paste it in the correct way. BTC, paste. So that's it. And then I'll go to my next one. And that is TRX. Copy that. And I'll paste it in the correct place. And then again, my USDT TRC20. I'll paste it there. Paste. Okay. So now I'm going to register and log in. Okay, there I'm registered. So please input the security code from the image and press the button. So it says it is A, P, X, and a big C. And then I press confirm. And I'm just going to put in a new code again, just to make sure that you take. Nine. So you, oh, sorry. So you, a three. Just for extra security, and it's a big P. Is all the terms and conditions, all the privacies. The terms of use, the risk of loss, disclaimers. And what we are doing here today is just for entertainment purposes only. So that is it. Okay. So I don't know why it's not working today on my side. <laughs> okay, so that is a one. That is a one. Sorry. It's an I, a small I. It might be because I'm using my own phone now and it's actually not a, you know, it's down, my downline. They're quite strict with you setting up accounts from your own codes. So that's why I've taken one of the downlines. There's the upline is Emma, that's correct. We've used her code today. Okay, doesn't want to take now. It might be because my computer is too slow, but let me try the last one. I have filled in everything. I put in that for South Africa, Mama's account name, put in the codes, Emma is that. Okay. Okay, yeah. Okay, so mine is to, my network is too slow, sorry for that. But the that is how I set it up. Okay, so let's rather go out here and then I just want to go into a real account and show you how it works. Because that was just a dummy account. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll just, I've got my, okay, what's very important is to make sure that you use the, rec, the correct uh, login details for, you know, to go to the site. So make sure that 
you don't go and search for the site and then press it on because there is some phishing sites. So what I normally do is once I've got my link, I've registered, I'll press at the top at the little buttons and then I'll add it to my home screen. And then it's very easy for my next time to log in without making mistakes. And when you've saved your passwords on Google, then when you go to the wrong site, it will not ask you for your login details. So that is another way of seeing how to do this. Okay. So once I've logged in, you can see here that I've got a, a available balance. I've specifically not um, withdrawn this amount to show you today how easy it is to withdraw. But let's start off with we want to invest. So what I'll do is I will go to this little stripes there. I'll press on invest. I want to invest, say, Bitcoins today. I want to choose the amount of, say, I want to invest $100. So $100, you can see here, you will receive $12 per day for 12 working days. So if you count it up, you'll get eventually $144 from $100 investment. And then if you leave it for another period and you put in $144 after the 12 working days, that's about 14 or 15 working days, or 15 days or 16 days, you will see that 144, sorry. So it's 144. You will see that you're going to receive $17 per day, or, or the total amount that you receive from $100 in about a month is $207. Um, that is, we've been testing it out and it works quite well, but only use money that you can afford to lose. Don't use your food money, don't use money that you need to pay your rent with, don't go and borrow money, please. This is this is money that can be wiped out. That is a risk. Um, it is a short, medium-term project. It can be long-term, hopefully years and years to come. Um, they are doing some trading, so we don't need to do the hard work of looking at the market, timing the markets. They do it for us. So the amount that we receive of, say, the, if, if we go back to the $100, the amount that we receive every day is $12, but that includes your capital. So that pay out a part capital and the pay out a part of um, the returns that they make from trading. So say let's work on $12, about $9 is your own capital that you receive back and about $3, a little bit extra, but let's work on $3 of that $12 is profit. So if you do your calculations correctly, if you put in $100, after eight days, you'll have your initial amount that you've put in, you'll have back, and the rest of the four days are profits, pure profits. So you do your own calculations, you play around, you do what you want to do. We are not financial advisors. We are not here to give you financial advice. But um, if I wanted to put in a deposit of $100, I'll just continue, and I'll press on proceed to payment. It will give me two things. It will give me a bit my address that I need to deposit. So all I'll do is I'll copy that. I'll go to my WhatsApp as usual. I'll go and paste it in there. Just make sure you see P5P and the exact amount of Bitcoins that I'll need to. Once I've done that, I'll press copy here. The amount of BTCs you'll see there. You need to press. 0.003634. So it's very easy if you go to Trust Wallet and you want to do that. So I'll just copy that as well. And then I will paste it in here again. Paste. Okay. So if I go back to Trust Wallet, that other Trust Wallet that I've just opened, don't have any funds in, I can either go to my Binance account or my Trust Wallet and I can send that money. Um, Budgets withdrawing, so I'll just go into my trust wallet. Um, trust wallet, go in here. I'll go to my BTCs. So, this 
Um, let me just choose another wallet quickly, like this one. And then if I had some BD BTCs, it would be here. What I'll do is I'll press on send. I will copy this as this addresses that I've put in my WhatsApp. There. Press it in here. I'll go to the amount of BTCs that I want to put in. That one. Press copy. And then I'll press continue. Sorry, this is a valid one. The wrong one in there, sorry. Didn't take when I press on there. Copy. And then press here. Yeah. Oh, sorry. So that's the address. That is the amount of BTCs. I'll just literally press continue, do my verification, and then it's done. Okay. So in a couple now, BTCs normally takes can take half an hour to an hour before it arrives. Sometimes it's faster, sometimes slower. And for that, you need some gas fees in there. You need some trons in there to fund your wallet. Um, I've, I've handled that the previous um, Zoom call. You're welcome to come watch that. We've done that already. So let's go back. So now I've made a deposit, and all I do is I'll press proceed to payment, and I'll continue. Okay, so I'm not going to add new investment now. I'll maybe add tomorrow again. Um, normally, if I if I invest on a Sunday morning, then on Monday the money will be in my account. I will start earning. Uh, normally, 24 hours later, you'll see the income coming in. The other thing that I just want to show you again that I showed last week, um, if there is a different time zone you're living in, press the at the right hand side. And you simply set up your wallet to make sure about there, via the site in your local time, all you'll do is you just press the on button, you press in your pin code, that's very important, and then save my settings, and then it will be exactly your time zone where you live. Okay, that's just a little tip. Let me get out of here. Okay, so now we've done the invest. Now I want to show you if I want to withdraw. So what I'll do is I have in one of those wallets, I've got a little bit of money. So you can see there I've got an TRX. I've got some funds. So let me show you how easy it is. I'll just press there. I want to draw 4636. And that is amount of TRXs. I had a question this week of somebody who wanted to bring in currency from another country. And then I've put in here, they want to press, they put in 50. Now 50 is not going to do the thing because the minimum amount that you can invest is um is $12 that they receive on their side, or the maximum is $30,000. That is per transaction. So if you want to invest $30,000, you can do it now, and you can do another one later. You can have a lot of um, investments together, running together. But you'll see now, when I want to withdraw, it gives me 24 hours plus a weekend. So some people find me, they say, I've just withdrawn more the money out of my account, because it is a timing thing. It takes 24 hours for your money to appear in your account. I'll show you now once I've done it. So I'm not going to present my security pin for, for reasons. But if I do that, it will, and I just press on confirm, it will go to my wallet address. And then it's done. So the, like this morning early, I've done one. Let me show you. I have withdrawn this morning. Um, at my statistics. Oh, no, sorry. Statistics. So there you can see I've, do, I've done tw twice or two withdrawals. We can do three withdrawals per day. And I've just upped the amount. So you can withdraw $300 per transaction per 24 hours. And you will see there it's ticking. I've just canceled this one this morning. So it's easy to cancel. If, you, if I don't want to do it, I'll just press on that little star at the right and it will cancel my transaction and I can change and do it again if you made a mistake. So there you can see it's ticking off for 35 hours. Why? Because they don't work on weekends. They work on a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. 
those are the days that you do receive your income. We do not receive any income on our transactions on a weekend. You do receive some referral commissions on a weekend. So if you've got a friend, they're using your link, they subscribe, they can, and they transfer the funds. As soon as the funds land in this account, you will start earning from that friend once off every time they deposit a 5% if they are in a direct line. If your friend gets a friend, you will receive 2%. If that friend gets another friend up to three levels, you get 1%. And that is amazing. <laughs> That's amazing to earn passive income. And But always just make sure that your friends knows that this type of investments is a risk. It is a risk attached to it. And they must do their own homework, their own due diligence before they invest here. So, but as you can see, as I've, I've been here from January, so and not one of my draws has ever been stopped by anybody. It just goes through, it works automated or semi-automated, and I never have a problem with that. So you'll see some of my revenue that I've received from my own investments, the type of revenue that I receive per day for different investments. I'll show you now where I see that different ones and then my deposits what i've made recently um there you'll see the one that i'm busy with the bitcoin one hundred dollars is processing okay so this one will not go through because i'm only going to invest tomorrow morning so um then afterwards it will just say it was cancelled so it's not a problem if you made a mistake as well okay so Lisa, where do i see transactions? yes Yes. We've both got a hand up. Let's see if there's a question before we carry on. Okay. Hi, Lisa. I just uh, wanted to verify, uh, confirm. When you're withdrawing, you mentioned not to put the code before submitting, or is that just uh, for the demonstration that you're doing? You didn't yeah. put it in. Yeah, it's just, yeah, it's just for the demonstration because it's my private keys. It's like my my bank. PIN code, and right. I don't want to disclose it because you can see when I type mine in and I can't change it easily, so I'd rather not do it. It's just for that purposes. Okay, but we have to sub we have to enter our key before submitting for withdrawal. Yes, that's correct. Okay, thank you so much. Just very quickly close the door. Um, any other questions? Is there any other questions at this stage, or can I show you? Anything that you're not certain about? Uh, not at this time. Um, not at this time right now. <laughs> very okay. interesting, so, though. Yeah, it's very it's very easy once you've got your your account set up. Um, it's automated. So if you go look at my settings, you can see the there is the that account has been set up when I started. My security pin is there. If I want to change anything, in the past we could change it easily ourselves, but uh, there was a bit of a, um, a bot <laughs> war, as I call it. So after that, from now onwards, if you want to change anything, you need to get support to do that, just for security purposes. The security is quite good. Okay, so I'll just want to quickly show you, if you've got a problem, um, with this little bell there at the top. So all you do next to the bell is like a little arrow. So you just press on there, and then you'll get onto Telegram with Marco or whoever. And then, yeah, so that is Marco. So then you can ask him messages, and he does respond. So they come back to us. There is other ways as well where you can go there. There's tech support, 24 hours, seven days a week. And they are quite busy, so just be patient. And there's some frequently asked questions. I always recommend that you go and read, go and read the frequently asked questions, go and read the different things about the accounts, about the investment, about the withdrawals, about the networking. There's some good questions. And before you ask questions to other people, go and read yourself. This is your own program. This is your own money. Go and read yourself what you can. Um, affiliates, let's quickly see what's happening here at the affiliates. So here you get your invitation code there that you can just literally copy and you can paste it and you can send it to your friends who are interested and they can start immediately. And here you'll see downlines. I don't want to disclose names now, but 
anyway, so yeah, so there you can see. Um, so the team, and this is not me, <laughs> this is our whole team, have invested about $114,000 altogether. That's amazing. Okay, let's just quickly look at what else. The account, I just want to show you. Some of my accounts are done, almost done now. So you'll see like the one that I started said this $100. So I've invested it on the 12th of the 3rd, and it gives me $16 per day. And then you'll see the no revenue on weekends, and it's in BTC. It will show me my next income that I received from there. Only two days left, two of 12 days left. So it ticks off every day once I've received it. So literally on Monday and Tuesday, this one will be done. And when it's done, there's no capital left because you've already received it plus your income. So after 12 days, simply this one will disappear. It will not be there anymore. And I think I've covered most of the questions that I get every day. Here you can get some statistics. You can see how much profit we've created. You can see your revenue. You can see the investments. You can see your affiliates. So the nice, fun stuff to look. Um, yeah, so let me go and show you something fun. Let's go to the home page. That's not going there now. Let me see. So here you can see some fun stuff. You can see comments people made, what the community says, there's some other things. How long does it take to add the funds after I've seen it? How fast are withdrawals? What is the yield on my investment? You know, um, they do have some groups, but be careful to join any group because there's a lot of scammers in some of the groups. Um, we do have a private group uh, that of friends that we can help, and you're welcome to ask questions. Here you can see <clears throat> this person that I've, I've received $14. It's like live. You can see exactly what's going on live. Here you can see the live deposits. This is what people deposited. And here you can see the largest, the largest deposit for the last 24 hours was $8,303. The top payout out that somebody received in the last seven days with four thousand dollars the top um, representative have received seven hundred fifty nine dollars okay so here is our team let's see so there so today that is our team tc is our teams and tc is now number five <laughs> and then we've got another um, one of our down nines um erica Erica, you're moving up. Girl, you were number 11 the other day. Well done. And then let's see. Okay, so Stefan will appear here. He's another South African. So Stefan will appear here in this week that's coming. And then he's going to go post. And he's going to go post this person, I believe, I'm soon. I'm the 13th. <laughs> Are you 13th? Oh, wow. Okay, but tomorrow maybe, Stefan. No, no, it will okay, be Tuesday. So Tuesday, okay. So yay! So this is just a little bit of fun. Um, so then if you get to a hundred thousand, um, if you're representative, you can see there representatives. And Stefan actually was our group, he first got the, the representative status, and then your income actually goes up a little bit extra. You can get seven percent, so it's worth it if you are a team builder. To look at it, but there's a normal five dollars or oh, five percent for your direct invitees, as I said before, two percent or one percent. So, this is a nice one. You don't even have to have one dollar in here. Um, if you're a good marketer, you can start it off and you can start earning before you've even deposited one dollar into this account, anyway. So, this is good read, and I, and I recommend that's what I do before I start. I always go and read everything. If I'm not sure, then I ask questions. Until I understand it, then I test it out for myself before I tell anybody else. And that is how I operate. So anyway, so that is in a fun way. Is there anything else, any other questions at this moment? 
Not in regards to Can Carnelian. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to log out then. Is there any other questions on anything else that you're not 100% sure how to do it? So on the one that I am actually, um, I have, well, I have Trust Wallet, I have MetaMask, and I have Crypto.com. Unfortunately, Binance, it is not allowed here in my region in the Texas area. And okay. so I, I see how easy you guys can handle everything in there swapping and 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 everything um my only concern not my my only issue right now is that on my trust wallet i i'm trying to tra uh, swap coins i know that i may have to use another um another for another uh, connection to to do the the swapping because I cannot easily transfer in trust wallet without having to pay a uh, high fees and yeah. what I'm trying to transfer into is the USDT uh, TRC20 from okay. from either Bitcoin well Bitcoin I don't have much but uh, the BNB the BNB smart chain okay yeah, so that is a that is a way to there is some ways that you can um, you know swap like pancake swap or Uniswap or there's a quite a bit of that you can do, um, but why don't you use Bitcoin? So I would have to. I mean, I have very little in the Bitcoin. Um, how do how to swap it is my whole thing. Is it's it's where okay. I'm. Now connect with me afterwards and then I will help you. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. Yeah, I will help you. I'll assist you quickly to do that. Not the problem. But I don't want to go too technical today here. Okay. <laughs> I appreciate it. No, I, I truly appreciate it. Okay. Any other questions? On Trust Wallet? Not for me. <laughs> I'll reach out to you. Okay. Lisa, you can stop the screen share. Okay. Um, let's see. Yeah. Uh, it's a problem here sometimes on my side. I'm going to do it now. Are there any other questions, people? That right, recording will be up in a, in a few minutes. Thank you, Lisa. It was very informative. It will go look back at the previous weeks or the weeks before that's recordings. It's all on YouTube in a in a playlist for the people that's not yet subscribed to the YouTube channel. About 60% of the people watching the videos is not subscribed yet. We need subscribers so that we can make money out of that channel that we can use on other platforms to sponsor people in. So don't be lazy to click the subscribe button or the like button. The views are looking good, but uh, for one other reason, you don't want to subscribe. Uh, Lisa's uh, crypto trading videos is in one separate playlist. It's all very easily available. All right. Uh, is there anything else from your side? Can you see a news office? I am. <laughs> mm, My husband's that, office. <laughs> that's office. Yeah, he's, right. he's a pilot. He's going to do this. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Then we're all done. Uh, let's just quickly run through the Zoom schedule. Before we go, motivational call tomorrow, South African time, 7 o'clock Eastern time, 1 p.m. Uh, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, we've got 3 o'clock calls, so the Americans can be up in the morning with their first coffee. And then there will be one or two other calls scheduled with enough notice of some of the new projects that I've been testing for a few days, which I will start introducing to you guys. All right, you can unmute, shout bye, and wait for the recording if you want to watch again.
Thank you so much again. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you. Bye bye, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Have a great evening. Thank you. <laughs>